Welcome to the office. I have lower back pain. Okay. And lower back pain. Started when? Oh. Lower back pain, I started noticing uh, four or five years ago. Four, four years, like four and a half years ago, I started noticing that I have lower back pain. I neglected it. So one day, all of a sudden, I started feeling uh, that there's a lower back pain. On your center, right or left? Center. Center. Did you do something? Did you have a fall you recall four or five years ago? No. The, the thing that I recall is, um, I believe I switched uh, to a different ball for, for the bowling. Okay. And it was bit heavier. Okay. That would have just, just started it. You mean for cricket? For the cricket. People don't know bowling. <laughs> okay, so you're a bowler. Yeah, bowler. Okay. How long since you were a kid you've been playing cricket? Yes, 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 yes. I'm playing. Yeah, there was a gap for um, ten, twelve years before okay. I started playing again. Now, when you said four or five years ago, you noticed it. Yeah. You noticed it when you woke up. End of the day, you were doing something. Maybe next day when I was I was again on the field. So you noticed it while you were playing? While I was playing, Okay, yeah. while you were bowling or while you were just standing there? I think just standing there. Okay. Yeah, and that's the start. And before that, I was I was pain, getting pain here okay. on the shins. And both shins? Both shins. Okay. Maybe this one more, okay. this is less, but both shins. And Any it, radiating pain down your no. back? So there's no sciatica type symptom. Mm -hmm. It's not shooting down your no, leg. No. You have shin pain Very or shin splints, shin splints and low back pain that's local. That's local. Take, yeah. Okay. And shin pain, like if I, if I go and uh, drive, uh, not <laughs> if I can run for half a mile, yeah. I get pain that there and there. Take it. So that's number one and two, two. main things. Number three. Number three. Is my neck. Okay. Neck, I get headaches on regular intervals. Like any day I can get. What kind of headache? Starts from here. Starts from the yep. center of the neck no, or no. the base of the skull? Some, sometimes base of the skull. Okay. Sometimes here. Okay. In the, the root. Of when do you notice it? When you wake up or after the end of the day or during the day? Mostly during the day. During the day. Yeah. During work? You're working from home? Just working from home. Right. On a computer? Ergonomically is good. Sit, stand, countertop. Yes, uh, ergonomically good. But this is there from a very long time. It is not like developed recently. This this pain I'm getting even in five six years. Okay. Even more than that. And headaches I had always maybe ten years or so. It is not like that I never I had uh, tightness on the upper back. Sure. Yeah, that was earlier. Those are all the results. Yes. Of. Exactly. Okay. So that's a good start. Anything shooting down your arms? No. Okay, so we have headaches, neck pain. Yeah. We have the low back pain, local, and we have shin splints. Yeah. This is a good case of shin splints. And uh, I don't think I've explained shin splints in the past. So this is gonna be a good case to share <laughs> with people. So why don't we do this? I'd like to watch you walk. Mm -hmm. After the walk, we'll mm -hmm. go over your x-rays mm -hmm. and then we'll figure out where we're gonna start. Sure. Okay? Yeah. And uh, your working right now you said yes are you working while you're here uh yes okay but again that is up to me i can always take off not work. Two. Yeah. okay shall we and before i walk i can tell uh any, anyway you will notice uh when i walk i like throw my leg like this you uh, swing it yes swing okay it, yeah can i have you take your socks off so we can yeah, watch yeah, your shoes sure. yeah. okay let's see what we got there's a stop sign there uh -huh. And we learned this in, in a couple of classes, not in school. Whenever you see a pimple right by the spine, there's usually that's a stop sign telling you there's nerve pressure here somewhere. Okay? So just we'll see if it actually is his case. Now, we can see his dimples nice. There's one dimple, there's the second. This, when we look at it and look at, I want you to march in place first. March in place, knees up high. And you can see the sacrum kind of going side to side. Yeah? The dimples are moving. The right 
Stop. Okay. Raise your right leg. And down. Raise your left leg. And down. Okay. Now go ahead and walk towards the nervous system poster. Regular walking. So has he always, since you've known him, walked with both his feet up? Yes. Now it is in, I think. I did it as yeah. out. You kind of swing both of them, dude. <laughs> yeah. He's like, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> now, when I'm seeing this, you're a bowler, you said, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You keep walking. Okay. We're walking and talking. I'm checking yeah. it all out while you're doing that. So you can see he kind of shifts to that left side when he walks. Madam, turn around. Sir, turn around. Madam, I want you to watch this side. And it kind of goes like this, shifts to the left side. Okay. Keep going. When I see bilateral toe out like that, there's an upper cervical that's hiding there. Come back over here, please. Stop right there. March in place. So he's on the back of both heels. He wants to pronate a little more on the left. It's very subtle. Slow it down just a little bit. You see the left, he catches it. He catches himself. The right plant's okay. Okay, close your eyes. Now what? Keep marching. No, no. Open your eyes. Keep march. Take a couple of steps back, please. March in place. My hand is here. Close your eyes, keep marching. You see it starts to go away now. Mm -hmm. Okay, stop. Wow. Oh. Okay. So we have an upper cervical issue, we have a foundation issue. When the eyes are open, mm -hmm. that's the low back, right? Or that's the whole spine. When the eyes are closed, we're activating more cerebellar function, upper cervical. Have a seat, please. And before we go over your x-rays, I want to just see if they match. Now, what we're looking at here, this is his upper body. Look from the side. Look from the side here. Here's the upper body here. The foundation is here. This is slightly behind his foundation. Bring your belly button in and up. Relax it. That doesn't really change his posture at all. So we have a lot of stiffness going on here in the body. Sir, stand up, turn around, let's go over your x-rays. This is the foundation of the building. In order to have a stable building, we need a level base and foundation, and that's the first thing we need to analyze. Take, I did circle a couple of things here. And the first thing I circled is at C7. And at C7, I have had maybe two other cases in 18 years. And this is a finding. Did they tell you there's spina bifida at C7? No. They took x-rays, they adjusted your neck? Yeah. T, I'm gonna push there, it's gonna hurt regardless. But I need to show you why. It doesn't mean you adjust it, okay? If there's pressure, we adjust it. But just touching it will hurt. Let me point out a few things before we start on the, on the analysis. Let's talk about what I circled over here before we get into this whole analysis. Now, the way the vertebrae forms embryologically, these lamina, this side, you can see where I put the pencil mark, these lamina fuse to form the spinous process, the bumps on the back, okay? And that happens during the embryological development. When we look here, you actually have non-union of C7. Typically, we see this in sacral, L5, S1, S2, somewhere in the tailbone. I've had two cases, one significant, that person had three of them in the neck. So I'm just pointing it out that it's there, and if it's there and I touch it, it's gonna be tender. That's not the basis of adjusting a segment, right? Just because it hurts doesn't mean you adjust it. And the research actually does not support point tenderness in the cervical spine with nerve pressure subluxation or uh, joint, uh, joint dysfunction. It just means it's tender. Now, the research does support that spinous tenderness in the lumbar spine, there is a correlation.
relation to the nerve pressure and subluxations, okay? So I just wanted to point that part out here at C7. When we get to the lateral, I'll get to the rest of the stuff. So let's go over your foundation and let's see. So starting with the foundation, I put AS2 EX6, P3-R. Okay, what does that mean? It means you had a couple of good falls. Must be. <laughs> Take it. The way the pelvis works, works in opposite. One goes up, other goes down. One goes in, other goes out. Your left pelvis goes up and out. Your sacrum on the right goes back. So his body wants to favor the right side. And then he's doing what? He's going to want to compensate back. It's probably why he's swinging. Now, ASEX means there was a trauma. That's not from a posture. Why? When we look at the SI joint or the sacroiliac joint, we call this an auricular, or it's called an auricular surface. And just like the ear, the oracle of the ear, it's not a per they're not perfect angles. When it misaligns down, it naturally wants to come out. When it misaligns up, it naturally wants to ride in. I'm referencing the dimple, the PSIS to the sacral ala. When your, yours went up and out, right? That's the trauma. So that was a fall, whatever it was, whether you would call it or not. And it doesn't matter. Just, I'm just pointing out what I see there, okay? So we have left pelvis and we have the right sacrum. From that, let's go over to this x-ray and show you on this tailbone. Because we have stuff going on here. There's a bend in the tailbone. And if we look here, I circled down in the coccyx. I circled S1 and S3. This should be a smooth curve. We've got these nubs here. Actually, S2 as well, S3. So it tells me there were some falls that, that ossified. The sacrum typically doesn't ossify, or sorry, the sacrum typically ossifies, matures by 32 to 34. You're 34. So you're right there. We'll see how you respond in one or two adjustments for the tailbone to see am I gonna actually be able to do more than just make some cracks, okay? And hopefully we can remodel some stuff in the short time that you're here. Okay, does that make sense, sir? Yeah. Questions on that? I'm gonna continue up. Oh, take madam. Good. Okay. Now, here's what gets interesting. You have a lot of little variations. Okay? So, from the base here, the first one to go out is 5. So, once the foundation is set, we will need to deal with the L5. Then, 4 comes back. 3 is level. 2 goes off. 1 comes back. 12 goes off. 10, 11 goes with it. 10 nine, eight comes back, seven, six, five, actually four is the one that's going off first. Oh, four, and four, I think we got an answer to the stone. Four is what's causing your neck, sorry, T4. Four is also T1 through T4 is heart and lung. Circulation, breath. Does he do a lot of chest breathing? Anxiety? He's good on that, right? Do you guys do any yoga, breath work, any of that? Activities, walks, and Yeah, walks and okay. So T4 takes the whole thing off. When we look at the jaw, we can see the jaw is slightly off as well. Are we having any complaints of jaw issues right now? No. Take it. Yeah. You had an old upper cervical injury, and here's what I want you to see. There's a lot of whitening here on the edge of the atlas C1 here. Okay? It just means there's, there's uh, the weight distribution, there's more weight being put on it. Okay? And if that's the, this is an old injury. And that's why I was talking about his feet being out. Whenever we're seeing someone bilateral toe out, it's usually some sort of upper cervical issue. The patient, the person is trying to balance themselves because the atlas has gone up. Someone who has bilateral toe in, this is more of a sacrum issue. So atlas, bilateral toe out, sacrum, bilateral toe in. So there is something there up in the penthouse. Okay, sir? 
I don't see that the base of the neck is what we don't want to mess around with C7. T4 is probably part of this issue. Okay. Questions so far? No. Okay. Let's continue. Digestion. Megan Blasi needs to be this big. Right? You have a lot of undigested food going through the gut. Digestion we need to deal with while you're here. Okay? Do you have any recent blood work? In the last one year. Okay. Uh, we'll see how you respond. And if we need to do any of that, we'll do it. Okay? I'm not too stressed about that right now. Okay, let's look at your side profile. On the side profile, we are designed to have 60 degree reciprocating curves. What's the first thing you see? You have a tilt, but you don't have the curve, right? It goes, this tilts back L5, four tilts back with it, three goes with it, and it just kind of goes like this. It's not getting that curve in there. So all these ligaments do what? They remodel in this position. And so we wake up in the morning, you have stiffness, right? You have that stiffness. Even though we have the tilting, your discs are good. Five is good. They sh they're, now, we are designed to have level parallel discs, like number 10. These are all tilted. All, you see that? You have a straight spine in the low back, but they're all tilted. They're all tilting because they're doing what? Right? Okay. They're tilting because of foundation, or they're tilting because of something in the upper cervical. But your discs are still good. That's the blessing, that's the good news. Thoracic spine discs are gonna generally be smaller. These are all compression, I'm assuming that's bowling, meaning cricket bowling, yeah? Um, this area, same thing. So we have compression in here, here. You played, you played really good. You played nice. And as we go up, I can't see in through here, but I can see over here. And we have a side slip at T2. That's where you got hit from the right side, or you had a good fall. Fall oh, right, yeah. Yeah, right, right to the left, the vertebrae shifted. But that's secondary to T4, okay? Now, as we get to here, uh, your discs are good, but same thing, it's a straight spine. Then we do the posture assessment. In the posture assessment, the ear matches the shoulder, the hip, the knee. We take L5, run it up. You can see that your upper body is slightly behind your foundation. So these muscles and ligaments upper back are tight and they're trying to hold things up. So yes, you're sitting or standing for long periods of time. You feel it across your shoulders, right? Okay, I get that. Digestion, so. Yeah, never done so. We already know that. So <laughs> we have a couple of things in the tailbone. We have the left pelvis. We have T4 as part of this whole thing going into the neck. We have a T2 side slip. We have something going on in the upper cervical. That's all. Nothing major. Nothing major. Okay. Questions on the x-ray? No. Madam? Anytime you stop me, ask me. Something doesn't make sense, ask me. If you're uncomfortable, you have your bodyguard, it's okay. If you're uncomfortable with anything, you stop me. Okay? No problem. Have a seat and let's get started. Yeah. All right, let's run the meter on the back and see what we find starting at the base of the neck. And the first thing we're finding is 22 points left side. T4, about five, six points. That's the old one. Now, let's see if I was right about this thing. And there it is, of course. Right below it. You see how he, he kind of sits back, right? That's what we want to put down. What we want is for him to be sitting like this, bring your belly button in and up. Shoulders back and down, down. Yeah, dude, you, he, he's like this all the time. Mm -hmm. 
right? Is that his work? Is he on the computer a lot, or because he's guarding something? That's what we need to figure out. And all of that is starting from S3, S4. Madam, let if you can't see it, right there. 15 points, left side, S3, S4, around T9, T4, C1. One, two, three, four spots I'm getting, sir. Okay, let's go ahead and stab the palpate, head down. Round your back for me, please. Good. Now, you can even see all the blemishes in the back. This is all, you've had this for a while, right? Yeah. So when we're seeing these types of skin conditions, we're th I'm thinking digestion, I'm thinking adrenals, I'm thinking kidney, I'm thinking toxicity. You need to detox, buddy. Mm -hmm. No red meat while you're here, okay? Chicken, fish, goat even, well, yeah, no red meat. Okay, if you can avoid it, at least for the first few days. Static palpation, I'm right there. One, two, three. There it gets puffy. And it shoots across, comes back down. Shoots across again, comes back, and stays puffy. Okay. One, two, three, jar. Tender at four or five? Four. Four or three? Four. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. Head down, please. Round your back. Eight or nine? Ten or nine? Not really. Compensation long standing. All right, let's check the low back. Let's check the movement of your pelvis. Feet together, open and close the knees. Slide forward a tiny bit. Okay. There you go. Feet together, open and close the knees. Right side only. When he does the right, the whole left is shifting. Left side only, right pelvis is flat. So we have our left pelvis. Sit back for me, please. Now let's figure this part out. This is five, punch. Tender, right? Not yet. No? No. Come back to me. Punch. Not bad? No, I'm pretty good. S1? No. S2? Mm -hmm. Starts S3 mm -hmm. or S4. I'm feeling it right there on the left. Just the pressure. Really? Yeah. Or well, I'm used to it, but I don't know. I think we've got a high pain threshold. Here. Yeah. Painkillers? Not now. Not now? Yeah, not now. I had when when I have too much. Of you always take every day. Yeah. Not every day. Not every day. No. No, 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 no. Every week. Uh, twice a week. Twice a week. He always has this brain fog and heavy head. Okay. So I mean, this is an old injury. He's, yeah. he's adapted to it over yeah. the years. I got to really push in there, okay? <laughs> so. But we do have to start on time. Now, if we have to choose between sacrum pelvis, pelvis is fixated. I think we're going to start with his left pelvis then. Okay. We'll do left pelvis. I'm going to check up top. We have T4. T9, T10 area we said was probably a compensation. Let's go ahead and check this. So. Start at the Let's so I'm gonna see this, okay? This is six. That's seven. Seven is moving fine. Six, five, four, three, two. Sit back from the Then go eight. Then go nine. Turn left. Turn right. 
do it yourself. Turn slowly, 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 slowly. Turn left. Turn right. Good. Look up. We're isolating the lower cervical. Up and left. Up and right. Down. Down and left. Down and right. But what's interesting with him is his upper cervical, down and right, is more restricted than down and left. Okay? This is your atlas right here, okay? It's gone anterior superior, left, and it's anterior on the front. So when you try to turn to the right, it's already stuck here, but it's coming from the left side. That's what's different. So ASLA and left pelvis, ASEX. That's where we're going to start. I'll have you walk after that, and then we'll recheck the Okay. Okay? You ready, sir? Yes. All right. So we want to do ASLA on the anterior aspect. Nice soft pinch of the SCM right on the... anterior aspect of that lateral gosh, right there now for the ASLA watch he's a little bring the chin back let's clean it up a little bit down now I'm going to be slightly in front my elbow is slightly anterior to his spine because I want to bring it back down and back that was a great miss down down That was a great mess. Come over here. No resistance. Okay. Face down. He cracks his neck a lot? Yeah. That's why. Hypermobility, sir. That I heard earlier. Ah. Gotcha. Let's do the ASEX on the left. Okay. I'm stabilizing the right, pushing with the left. I need you to breathe and receive, dude. Come on. There. Gotcha. Home run. Perfecto, señor. Walk, please. Slow it down. Slow it down, dude. Nice and easy. Keep walking. Just keep walking. Come back over here and have a seat. Let's rescope and see what happened. So, I got a little bit of your atlas. I got a good set on your left pelvis. Now, let's see what happened. Hmm. Down, please. So, we had that 20 points. It's good. You got a little bit of heat on the right. I'll take it. Now, this is interesting too. This boy got layers, yo. I gotta figure this out. Looks like it's not T4 now. It's a little. Let's try this again. I did Dr. Pimple Popper's job and popped the pimple. Now let's see. Head down, double check, make sure it's not a fluke. So we still have that heat on the right, but the 20 points there is gone. We have, it's not four now. You can see it switches. It doesn't stop there, it keeps going comes back. I'm going to get a false reading there because of the band-aid, so we're going to wait on that. That's it, dude. 
Not what I expected, but we have to go with the body. And it's around L302. Now, before we check that, scoop forward, please. Feet together. Open and close the knees. Open and close. Right side only. Good. It's pulling up here now. Okay. Do the left side only. Do you feel that difference, sir, when you open the left? Right side only. Sit back in front of this. Come back towards me. All the way down. Sacrum. All the way back. Five. Four. Four more tender, three more tender. What's that say? Right there. This guy's a challenging case. Looks easy. It's actually a challenging case. L4, dude. Help up. Wow. Yes, sir. Now. Let's go right side down. I'm going to start four on the side. There's a reason. You, the patient needs to be able to set themselves up. This is a big issue. Okay, I'm bringing this up. It's a big, it's a valid issue. Because think about it. As the doctor, we can't be lifting people, 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 people a day. Right? So first thing is get in position. Okay, it's not difficult, it's easy. If you need help, I'm, I'm going through it with you. But I need you to relax and breathe. Just breathe, dude. Good. I know you're excited to be here. I appreciate it. But, I can't do this. Slide forward. Bottom leg straight. Well, just relax, dude. Just relax. No, you're overthinking. What do you do? You're on the computer all day? You're doing analytical equations all day? Yeah. He is, right? Yeah. yeah, he's too analytical. That's the problem. More than 15 hours. 15 hours of analyzing some stuff. Sorry. Let it go. Got you. Thank you. Come up slowly, please. Let's go over here, face down. Five. Chin up, please. Breathe and receive. Receive. Good. Further. Gotcha. Home run. Still, you pushed, but come on up. Walk for me, please. That should be different right now as you're walking. Keep walking. Don't worry about look. Just what what are you feeling as you're walking right now? What's different for you? I might not be throwing that leg. That's and again these are all tender now because of the adjustment. Right. Other than that, come back over here. Have a seat. Head down, please. Up a Figuring this stuff out here. There's still pressure, right? Nope. And now it's gone. A lot of shifting, as I was saying in the, in the x ray. That's where we're going to start. Left pelvis. 
L4, C1. Okay? Now, let me use the machine and break up some scar tissue on your back. Walk it up one last time and then I'm going to go on your back. Less, should be a little less sore right now. Yeah, that's an arch. Let's go on your back here, please. I want to work on your feet. This is your right leg. Relax the foot, though. Relax the foot. Tell me there. I guess tally, medium tilt. There's your left leg. Yes, talus, medium tilt. Back slowly. Sit up straight. And back. Lean back. Lean back. Good. All the way back. Good. All the way back. Good. Lean back. 